Hey guys, this is uh, Vincent. Here I have a beta version of uh, Luminar AI. So I'm going to show you a few features of uh, the software. So since this is a beta version, uh, the interface may or look uh, different when the uh, production uh, release uh, comes out later in uh, 2020, most likely during the uh, holiday season. As well as some of the tools or features, uh, they may interact or uh, perform differently with the uh, final version. So anyways, uh, with the Luminar AI, it's, uh, it's like an AI-based or AI-powered uh, software. So the main idea behind uh, Luminar is uh, that it offers you suggestions or enhances or adjusts photos. Uh, to where it necessary where it's necessary or where it needs to be adjusted so so I got two photos here one's a landscape photo one's a portrait uh, I mainly do uh, travel photography so I don't have many uh, portraits so with this portrait that I have here it's an Adobe stock uh, image and let me just go back here to the main to the main template section so what uh, Luminar AI does is it offers you uh, templates or suggestions of templates to uh, use. So if you look at this photo of this portrait, it offers like uh, this portrait template of uh, easy portraits. And it's got a few uh, templates here. And let me just go back to the main template section. And if I click on my landscape photo, it should change to uh, landscape uh, suggestions or landscape uh, templates. Uh, as you can see. So what I'll do with this uh, review is I'll just start with the Adobe stock image I have and I'll go back to the main templates area and I'll click on easy portraits and keep in mind this is going to be adjusted in the final uh, release as well the way it uh, offers or suggests uh, templates uh, based on the uh, type of image you have. So for this portrait I'll just check out a couple of the uh, templates that it offers or suggests and uh, like all templates or presets, uh, some work and uh, some don't for the image. So I'll just stick with this uh, vignette uh, template. And with these templates, uh, you can change the opacity if you want uh, by just decreasing the slider at the bottom. And this template's very subtle, so you may not see or notice the difference on video. Uh, but there is a change and if you want to further adjust the templates uh, you can definitely uh, do that and what Luminar AI does is for any tools or technologies it makes adjustments to the name will be uh, highlighted kind of like here where it has light it decreases the shadows a little bit added some s smart contrast uh, but the main thing about Luminar AI with portraits is uh, or the main feature is it's uh, portrait features so here, if I click on the portrait tab and click on uh, face, you'll see that it offers like a bunch of uh, features or tools to change the eyes, and the mouth, and the shape of the uh, individual. And Luminar AI automatically detects where the face is and it has like a mask in the background and so forth. So if I want to change the light on the face, I can do that. It's a very subtle change. If I want to slim the face, I can do that as well. Uh, keep in mind the slim face feature or tool, it's mainly for, I believe, a lens distortion. Uh, not to make a chubby person look thinner, but obviously you can still go ahead and use it the way you like. And then there's the eyes. Um, I can also change the colors of the eyes if I want. And if you do decide to do this, uh, let me go to blue here. If you do decide to do this, of course, uh, with the changes, uh, just make sure it's a aesthetic or it goes well with the photo. Not every change works out, as you probably know, uh, being a photographer. Like even, oh, this mint one doesn't look too bad, this mint iris. And I can also enlarge the eyes if I want. And then I can make some saturation or add some saturation to the lips make it red or more red and I can also whiten the teeth it does a very subtle change to the teeth whitening and if you need to further whiten it then you'll need like an advanced uh, photo editor but this does a pretty good job to make uh, subtle changes for the teeth whitening let me take a look at the before and after 
yeah so it definitely improved the uh, image well we also have this skin AI to resurface or retouch the skin a little bit more it just reduces the blemishes and as you can see let me turn it off and on and it does a pretty good job you see there's still a little bit of acne or blemishes here in order to correct that you can further I retouch the image with the erase tool I'll click the erase tool here just click on this and maybe these as well and then click on erase so it's pretty good to remove like simple dust spots or simple uh, blemishes so that's like the uh, portrait or some of the face features that Illuminar AI offers but anyways I I'm mainly a landscape or a travel photographer so let's go to this travel image I have here go click on templates this should change well I got to go back to the main template section and these are the landscape or this is the, this is the template that Luminar AI suggests or recommends so I'll just click on that and I'll test out a few of them I got dynamic result which looks pretty good a lot of saturation to my orange low pro camera bag it added and here's a monochrome one this is very this is a very subtle metal look, mellow look it's not too bad but it's not my style got this night's nice thunder here the backlit clouds and the arctic sea i like this look a lot but i'll play with the night's nice thunder here and take a look at it i really like this melodramatic look it has or whatever the type of look it's called and just reducing the opacity of this template and then I can further edit it and let me go to the enhance tool if I want or which I am and add a little bit more depth or texture to this image looks pretty good it, it kind of like blew out kind of blew out this uh, bag here so what I can do is just adjust the brush or adjust the mask so let me click on the erase tool here make sure that's selected and I can just brush this away and that looks a lot better let me just turn this off and on take a look at the before and after okay so yeah so I like this uh, look a lot by the way it's from uh, Lake Louise in Cal in uh, Canada in the uh, Banff National uh, Park really beautiful place so go check that out but uh, going back to Luminar AI, they're still making uh, adjustments to it, so the software will look different and it'll be performing or it'll be working uh, faster uh, when the production uh, release comes out. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick uh, tutorial or review of the uh, software. Maybe later I'll do a, a better review or a longer one with more uh, changes to the uh, image. And if you like this uh, Luminar AI review, uh, give it a thumbs up or uh, subscribe. Have a good one.